let's go through this limit right now. So we have x approaching infinity of this function. Well, let's try and substitute infinity over here. What do we get? This would be infinity. And then here we would have e to the power square root of infinity. Infinity over e is a number. That's 2.17. And, you know, many more decimals after that. To a very large number, it's going to be even larger. So this is also approaching infinity. But we know that infinity over infinity is undefined. So we'll have to use the L'Hopital. We will have to use the L'Hopital, meaning we take the limit x approaching infinity and we take the derivative of each side e to the power square root of x. OK, let's take the derivative of the numerator and the denominator here and here. We have the limit x approaching infinity. We have 1 over. What is e to the power square root of x derivative? We have e to the power square root of x. But it's not just e to the power of x, it's a expression of x, it's square root of x. So we have to take the chain rule. We take the derivative of the power itself. Okay, so we have the limit x approaching infinity, 1 divided by e to the power square root of x. And square root of x derivative is 1 over 2 square root of x. So this is times 1 over 2 square root of x. Okay. If that's limit of x approaching infinity, 1 divided. Let's write this just as a fraction so it, it looks better. e square root of x over 2 square root of x. Now, 1 divided by a fraction is the same as multiplying with the inverse. So we would have the limit of x approaching infinity. And now we would have 2 square root of x divided by e to the power square root of x. So let's substitute infinity into x. 2 times square root of infinity over e to the power square root of infinity. Again, we're approaching very high values both on the numerator and the denominator. So this will tend to infinity. Over here tends to infinity. It is undefined once more. So differentiate once again with L'Hopital. Let's do it. So let's make some space. We have the limit now. Let me change colors actually. Opa. limit x approaches infinity and we stopped over here 2 square root of x divided by e to the power square root of x so it's 2 square root of x divided by e to the power square root of x take the derivative of that now so this one derivative this one derivative we got the limit as x approaches infinity what is 2 square root of x derivative that's 2 the constant square root of x derivative is 1 over 2 square root of x divided by e to the power square root of x derivative that's e to the power square root of x times the derivative of square root of x which is 1 over 2 square root of x let's cancel out some stuff to see where it goes so 2 and 2 cancels out we have the limit as x approaches infinity and here we have 1 over square root of x divided by e to the power square root of x over 2 square root of x. Let's go to the right. Okay, change colors. Now, let's divide this fraction. 1 divided by square root of x over this means we'll multiply with the inverse. So we have the limit of x approaching infinity. And here we have 1 over square root of x times the inverse would be 2 square root uh, of x divided by e to the power square root of x. We can see that we can cancel out something. Square root of x and square root of x goes away. Make some space below here. Yes. The limit as x approaches infinity. And here we have 2 divided by e to the power square root of x. Now let's substitute infinity into x and I think we are getting to the answer because we have 2 divided by e to the power square root of infinity. This is a very high number approaching infinity. 2 divided by a very high number is going to be very very close to 1. And since limit shows the tendency where we are going to, we are going to 0. And that's it. We are done.